In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to show you how to add objects right within the built-in title designer itself. I have a movie here and we'll play a few seconds of it. It's a rather nice shot and I have a title that's not too bad to start with, but I'd like to add a little pizzazz to that. So what I'm going to do is add an object. In fact, we'll add a couple of objects to this title. Now, one of the things we tend to do when we're new to PowerDirector is we'll put our title on one track, and then if we want other objects, we'll just layer them on other tracks, either above or below the title. There's a much less complicated way of doing that by bringing all this into your title itself. That way, uh, if you move the title, everything moves with it. Uh, so I'm going to click on my title, which is on track two press the F2 key to invoke the title designer. So now I have my title. It's called Into the Wild and I have the features. I've adjusted the font face, the shadow, and the border. I also have a starting effect and again if you want to see what the effect is you just hover your mouse over the darker shade over here and it tells me I'm using my wipe right effect. My ending effect is over on the other side, and that's simply a fade right now. So I like the wipe right. If I wanted to change it, all I need to do is click on Effect. And uh, in Starting Effects, I can click down, and I see I'm using the wipe right. I could go wipe up or wipe left, um, whatever I prefer. So uh, that's how you modify that. So let's go ahead and, and do some other things. I'm not going to uh, work on an effect. I'm going to add to it. So let's go ahead and add an image. I'm going to click on the third button from the left, which is Insert Image. And in here, I'm going to insert a uh, green uh, uh, object here, a green fade bar. Okay, so now I have a bar here. I'm going to take it, and you notice it put it on track two. I'm going to minimize all these options in track one to simplify that. And the other thing I want to do is I want to take track two and put it in track one. The easy thing to do is left click on the track uh, uh, information to the left of the position indicator and drag up and let go. And now my bar is in the background and my text will be in the foreground. I also need to change the size of this, obviously, so I'm going to take this and make it a little larger. That's not too bad right there. We'll try that, and then I'll take it and I'll drag it, and I'll put it over into the wild. Again, I like the up and down arrow keys for maximum position. Okay, so now I have my uh, letters, and I have a, a little more dramatic background all inside the title designer. So when I go ahead and play this, uh, it looks pretty good by the time I'm done. Not too bad at all. So what I want to do also is add another item here. So uh, we'll click again and we'll click up here on Insert Image. And we'll take uh, one here called a Yukon Picture. Double click on it. I'll take it and I'll move it to the lower right. And let's go ahead on this one. We'll add a border to it. So I'll click over here. We'll click on border. Uh, we'll, we'll choose a color. I think we'll stay in the green area since that's kind of what we're looking at here. Maybe another dark green. Click on OK. And uh, then I'll increase the size of the border. And we'll add a little bit of blur to it. And um, that looks pretty good. So I'll click on... Um, that looks fine. I'm going to click at the beginning. We'll play this and see what it looks like. Okay, so we could use this maybe for a tourist promotion, um, for saying, well, this is where we were on the map when we took this shot. Uh, you could use it for a uh, travel agency, something like that, however you want to do it. But it, it adds um, a little bit of accent to it all within the title designer. And then when we're done, we simply click on OK. That closes my title designer. And the nice thing is everything here except for the background, which is my video on track number one, everything here is packed right into the title designer itself. 
so I don't have to worry about l having things move as I begin to design my project. Um, so we'll go ahead and play here. You'll see exactly what you saw a few moments ago. And that's a great example of how you can add objects in your title designer in CyberLink PowerDirector. Director. <laughs>